Hi, I'm Stephanie Adams from Beginning Counselor, and I'm going to talk to you today about how to get more clients now, yes, even if you're an intern. So here's the situation. We all want more clients, whether we want it because we need more income or need more hours, we all need more clients. So when I ran the Mind Your Own Business a, a virtual conference for counselors, the number one question we kept getting is, how do I get more clients? How do I get more clients? So today I was thinking, I got to talk about this. Um, so I'm going to talk to you today about three ways to attract new clients. Again, it, these work even if you're an intern. Those three ways are to specialize, advertise, and finalize. And let me talk to you a little bit more about all those. So the first one is specializing. Um, this is why the client wants you and not Joe Schmo down the street, because you're a specialist, because you know something about their particular needs, and that gives them comfort and security. Specializing lets clients know what they will get when they come to see you. And when you specialize, you can become a person others can easily recommend. Hey, you know, we need somebody for ADHD. This is the ADHD counselor. So you want to get that connection really well. If you don't know what makes you special, what you need to specialize in, ask other people, ask other counselors, ask your clients, and just say, hey, what is it I do well or that I've really helped you with, and find out and focus on that. It doesn't mean you won't get other clients, but it does mean you probably will get more new clients because people say, this is the person I need to go to. The next is advertise. Advertising can feel very ugly and dirty, but advertising is the way clients in need find us, so it's really our responsibility to do it because otherwise these people are not going to get the help they need. There's, it may feel like advertising is something outside of your budget, but there are budget choices available to advertise. You can send personalized letters to doctors or school counselors, and the cost is just stamps and time. You can get listed in a directory for just $20 or $30 a month, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. And you can print out uh, Vista print business cards really cheap, although don't do the free ones because there's nothing that says low budget like the Vista print logo on the back. But you can get them really cheap as it is, and those can go anywhere. My final recommendation is that simple, to finalize. I chose this because, let's be honest, it's a word that rhymes, but outside of choosing it for that reason, what I mean by it is that one of the best ways to get new clients is to finalize your experience with existing clients. Focus on finalizing and making their experience a great one. Don't rest on your laurels once you get a client. Go above and beyond. Look up a book for them that, that you talked about in session. Go ahead and find it for them. Give them the author. Give them the date of publication, whatever they need to find it. Call them if it goes a while in between appointments just to check in on them because clients will talk to other people about good service. And unfortunately, they'll talk about bad twos, which is why you want to go out of your way to replace that with good service. Your best referrals are going to come from existing clients. That's just a fact. Or from people existing clients talk to, like their doctor or pastor. So to get that buzz going, you have to provide that excellent customer service and go above and beyond. So today you've got your, your lessons, specialize, advertise, finalize. Now all you need to do is get out there and use this information to get you new clients. I'd love to hear how you did it, so please leave me a comment below and let's continue talking about how you can get more clients and the creative and exciting ways you found to specialize, advertise, and finalize.